What's up, YouTube? I'm Controversy, and welcome back to another video. So unless you've been living under a rock or you just haven't touched Overwatch, you should know that Sojourn is absolutely the best DPS hero in the game right now. Now, there's no issue with her being the best, but there is still such a thing as being too good. For example, when Sojourn was in her prime and she can one tap you at any range at just 82% charge, devs themselves thought she was good, but she was still underperforming in the low ranks. Now to clarify, when they say underperforming in the low ranks, they don't mean that bad players are using this broken character. So maybe that's why the broken character isn't so broken. What they mean is that they expect every elo to perform a specific way. And the expectations that they had for Sojourn within this low elo was underperforming their expectations. Regardless if that's good logic or not for them, the point is, is that they shouldn't have even had that as a discussion because even though she's underperforming in low ranks, she is overperforming in high ranks. And this is what prompted their first nerf for Sojourn. To refresh your memory, this is the nerf where they decreased the delay from 8 seconds to 5 seconds on how long she could hold her charge. They reduced the damage fall off on her right click from 70 meters to 40 meters. And they also reduced the critical damage on it from 2 times to 1.5 times. Then they changed the secondary fire damage to scale linearly. The primary damage actually got a buff in this one where it went from 9 to 10. And the overclock charge rate was increased by 20%. Now, after these first nerfs, people thought that maybe this was going to do something to her, but unfortunately, it still just wasn't enough. Soldron, as much as I play her, she was still just way too strong. Because of that, this prompted the second nerf. In this nerf, they increased the spread of her primary by 28%. They removed the slow effect from her disruptor shot. Then they changed the cooldown on her power slide from 6 to 7 seconds. And even after all those changes, Look at where we are today. We still have Sojourn being the number one most picked DPSer, and she is still acquiring some of the most kills per 10 minutes in the game. I mean, just take a look at the top 500 at all these pages of all these players just simply only playing Sojourn. Now, sure, we have some Tracers in there. We have some Widows, some Echoes, some Ash, a few Junkrats, but look how much relevant Sojourn is over these other heroes. I mean, what many of the Sojourns right now are doing is they're using Sojourn to kill the other Sojourn that way they can make space in order to eliminate any of the other supports or other dpsers this way it ensures that the enemy sojourn can't take out your dpsers or your supports so really the question is is sojourn still too strong for me the answer is yes but only slightly so i have a few ideas for some very impactful changes that you can make to sojourn that would not kill her by any means she would still be very viable but she would settle down and come down a peg in the tier list the very first change that I would make to her would be the exact issue that we had with her in season zero when she first came out is simply getting rid of the headshot multiplier on her railgun. I understand that they're trying to keep her viable and make her useful at long range, even though you could still railgun someone from long range in the body and still do a sizable amount of damage. For some reason, they want to allow her to be kind of this like sniper machine. I really don't understand why she needs the headshot. A lot of people say that Soldier and Sojourn are supposed to be kind of similar, which uh, to a degree I agree, but at the same time, let's take a look at the secondary fires. Soldier's is his Helix rocket, which does 130 and it is a projectile, whereas Sojourn's is hit scan and it also does a maximum of 130 if it's fully charged. The difference here though is that Sojourn's can headshot. Why can Sojourn's headshot, but Soldiers can't? I just find it to be pretty inconsistent to allow Sojourn to be able to have this sniper-esque ability, whereas Soldier is really supposed to be just like this Call of Duty style character, but his Helix can't one-shot and it's harder to hit. So I think removing the headshot would pretty much alleviate everyone else's concern with Sojourn currently. It would make her a lot more primary based, which is kind of where the skill gap is with her, considering that it's projectile, not hit scan like Soldiers is. So it would be a lot harder for people to aim with, because at their time, what people were just simply doing is getting it to 82% charge and just headshotting them. You didn't really need to do a whole lot. You could just farm the tank off of that and then hit a squishy in the head with 82% charge and it's game over. Whereas now, even if you're farming off of the tank, you're only gonna hit the DPS or any other squishy for 130. 
Doing this would cause you to put a lot more of your primary shots into the squishy that you're trying to eliminate and then force the rail gun shot on them as well. Now, since we're going to shift the change a little bit more towards her primary, I think that you also need to make her primary a lot more viable in the sense of making it available at range. Because of the last nerf that they made to her, they increased the penalty on her spread by 28% which makes it a lot more difficult for her to hit targets from range. For the next change, I would suggest possibly either reducing that or removing it, reverting it back to how it was. That way she could be a lot more viable from range. Doing this would also make her primary shots a lot more consistent, meaning that she would gain her railgun charge almost at the same rate that it is right now. If they need to reduce how much that she gains it, then I would also be okay with that. But the idea behind this is in order to artificially create kind of like a cooldown to it, that way it's more aligned with Soldier's Helix rocket cooldown, while also still giving you the option to shoot it prematurely before it's fully charged. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I'm pretty sure that Blizzard has thought about at least one of these changes by now. But I think at this point in time, if they have, it's kind of just time to introduce the changes. Both of these would still keep her at a very high tier, make her very viable and still very good without feeling so oppressive or required in order to win. I honestly feel like Sojourn is currently in a fairly decent spot, but she could just use a very slight tuning change. And that's what I've suggested in this video today. If you guys found any of this information helpful and you enjoyed this content, please leave a like on it. If you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, hit that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.